Ooh, ooh, we are recording. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. We are recording? We're recording? Oh, we're recording on there. Yeah. We're recording on there already? Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're missing so I go Wi Fi? Yeah, and then you look up. Oh. There I am. Ooh. Yay. <laughs> oh my god, it's so light. Oh my god. Not true. <laughs> Not true. Oh, why? I, I will retweet everything okay, okay. that I'm going to say. Yeah. Watch for the snowball. I know. She's going to tweet for the man anyway, so. Is she? Yeah. She's like, do, 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 do. She's like this. <laughs> so as soon as everybody's up their phones. I'm so ready. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to help my girl out. Can you ever multitask? <laughs> I can totally multitask. All right. Well, in that case. I can do it all the time. Boom. Thank you. Okay. Well, everybody's, everybody's talking about the We just the gotta wait for everyone to be yeah. done with their phones and then we can see. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> I approve of what you did there, and if we were closer, I'd high five you. Here, high five. <laughs> yeah. I'm not happy about that. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never miss those films. Nor do I. Oh Sue, so we are back in the studio for like the first time in a long time. If you're watching Very right now, thank you for watching right now. Um, Sue and I are kind of taking a break from hot dogs because we've been doing a lot of hot dogs. I'm going to go ahead and throw water on myself. Throw water on yourself. And I'm Tim, with me as always is the Amazing Sue. Yeah. Amazing Sue. Yeah. And we are joined by <laughs> like a double dose of Mel's is what it is. It's kind of like... Weird. M&M. Yeah. Kind of like same with the Spice Girls, but different. <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> I like the Spice Girls. Well, we love the Spice Girls. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't love the Spice Girls? <laughs> Don't make me go down a spice glass rabbit hole because that's exactly where this is going. That'll be awesome. We can make that happen. I know. I do. I get that a lot. It's like, really? Oh my god! No, you're British. You. Do you know the Spice Girl? I know. I smell. <laughs> you're just like her. I'm like. Oh. Yeah. She yeah. She like, sounds yeah. racial. Yeah. Let's be real. That's weird. <laughs> you look completely different, and I love her. But yeah. yeah. Well, it's like this conversation where you, you know, where we as Canadians go to a different country. And go. Oh, do you know Bob from like Smith Falls? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, like this. I do that. Yeah. Because <laughs> you realize how crazy small the world is as well. When like, how long does it take to drive to Vancouver from Toronto? <laughs> like, a, is it like a day? <laughs> Nine hours. <laughs> Can you do yeah. it in an afternoon? <laughs> so we got Melissa and you welcome back. Thank you. Always so much fun to have you on the show. It's yeah, to be here. That's true. And then, I'm going to screw up your last name anyway. Is it really just Lil Bird? Lil Lil Bird. Lil Bird. Yes. Okay. In my head yeah. I was Lee Bird, but I yeah. think it was from Lee Bird. Well, lots of people say Lee Bird, um, because of the way it's spelled, but it's actually, yes, it's Lee Bird. My mom. From St. Kitts and Nevis. Which just sounds awesome. Thank you. I don't know what it means, but it sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? It's in the Caribbean. Oh, It's just down nice. from um, Antigua. Just okay. From Antigua. It's a very small island. Like, is it a day's drive? Or? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's, 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 it's a 15 minute uh, um, plane ride oh. from the other island. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, like. So now I just need I'd like to, go to get home. back there. Right? I'm the yeah. same way I spent my teen years in Bermuda, so it's like I need to go mm. back there. Well, I think we're up there, but um, yeah. I kind of, yeah. I'd like to go and visit there <laughs> as much as I can. Very cool. Yeah. Now, of course, you guys are both in dark matter. I mean, you have been dark matter from the get go. And now you're showing up this season. I know. I'm so and that's all okay. we can tell you. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, and we left. Okay, there's some dire straits at the end of the season last mm -hmm. season, and some <laughs> WTF moments. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what can't you tell us? What can't we tell <laughs> you? Well, you know what? I think uh, the the new season opens up with quite a big bang. Actually, our executive producer Vanessa. Uh, Piazza just sent me a message this morning saying that we got the final cut for episode one oh, for sweet. season two and oh, she said yeah and she said it looks let's quote her. <laughs> Do you guys get to see it? Let's quote her directly. Are you gonna have a little party um, and view it? I don't think I don't I think hope that, well, that would be fun. But yeah. usually we don't get to see it until it shortly is. before it actually airs. Um, mm -hmm. but she said episode one 
Caps lock. Complete. Wow. Looks amazing. Episode one is so great. Everything about it really came together. Um, so that's really exciting to hear, and that's where we meet yes. Mel's Nyx in Galactic Authority Prison, which is something we can tell you because the spoilers yeah. abound on the internet, not only from <laughs> our <laughs> fearless leader and the spoilers. Uh, Joe is always sharing behind the scenes <laughs> stuff, but so is Alex. I remember when he did uh, that. Yeah. He, had, he shared the interiors of Galactic Authority Prison for all the world. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because it looked, it really it did was look amazing, incredible. Amazing set. Yeah, and I think we talked about it at Comic Con, but there's not like a huge time jump between the end of season one and the start of season two. I think, right? Like you kind of pick yeah. up where you left off. Pretty much, uh, we we see us. That's kind of where we all meet is when mm -hmm. we're entering into prison. Um, what you got something good? Yeah, I'm just trying to find the Dark Knight Twitter handle again. So I wanted to share with everybody that you know we can take questions if they have, and if you're watching, we can take questions. <laughs> so, and if you don't, on Twitter. Oh, fuck you. And what else would you be doing? Wow. Wow. I know, right? That's what I got to, well, we got to listen to Glenn Mazzara this weekend talking about Walking Dead. Oh, man, Day yeah. Oh, like, if you don't like show, all the fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice for you, Glenn. Nice. <laughs> Direct eye contact. <laughs> he also brought up anal sex at like 9.30. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, right. 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 Which is hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> He's like, good morning, by the way. like, wow. Morning, this one got right off the tracks really quick. That's yeah. <laughs> so how we roll. Yeah. Mel, Mel's gonna be like, I don't know why you brought me in for that. Actually, like, <laughs> they didn't even ask me who my favorite movie was. Yeah, we haven't even gotten uh, there. Just tell me all about you guys. Oh, God. Uh oh. And you still showed up. No, it was Because, <laughs> yeah. yes, we know we, you know, we chatted about your favorite movie last time you were here. Uh, my oh. favorite memory? No, your favorite movie. Oh, movie. Yeah, what's your favorite movie? Sorry, what out. was your favorite movie? I don't remember. Oh. How do you not remember what your favorite movie is? Because it's very, it's more it's than likely that I made it up. You made it up. <laughs> oh, there are so many Filthy good movies. Knowledge. Did I say Commitment? It's difficult. No, no, should I say Fifth Element? You might have said Fifth Element. I might have said Fifth Element. Oh, oh great. So you're you're citing, a, you're referencing something that even you don't remember. Yeah. This is fantastic. This is All he remembers is that we asked you. Yeah. <laughs> right, I remember right, that part. Right. And I remember she was funny. So. Um, <laughs> there's so many great movies. There could be more than one. Yeah, I guess it depends, on the, it depends on the genre, I guess. Mm. Yeah. I love. Oh, I love the thinking. Wow. Well. I don't know. I mean, I love the big blue. Oh yeah. Um, just from this for the cinematography. I don't think anybody's film. It's just yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I love yeah. that film. It's a gorgeous film. I just remember seeing that as a kid, just being blown away, like wow. <laughs> He's a great director. Yeah. Like, but it's all very much hit and miss with him. Yeah. So, uh, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Hit or miss. Oh yeah, good choice. Good yeah. choice. What's your favorite movie? Jaws. <laughs> really? Jaws. Oh, yeah. Do you not even blink? Yeah. Oh yeah, Jaws. Classic. Nice. Jaws one. Oh yeah, that's the only first one. Counts. With only the one mechanic counts. head. Yeah. It just looks so fake. You can watch it. Sharks As an adult, it's just like. Oh, yeah, oh, but that's God. not what it's about. It's big mechanical. That's not when I was what, four or something. Yeah. I loved it, and now I watch it at least two times a year. Do you? Oh wow, you it's really like are a fan. Yeah. Like any time the shark is on the edge of your seat the whole time. That's how the shark feels about people. Right. But yeah, anytime they screen it on one of the big screens here in town, I'll go see it. Oh, cool. Do you know what's another classic? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. 30 years old. I know. I was in Did it celebrate an anniversary recently? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, like they played it in my local Soho house. Like they had this a big anniversary, and I was like, "What is this film?" And it was just, you know, silly American. Anything <laughs> set in the eighties is just works for me. So. Sing like Street. dirty dancing. Then go um, and see Sing Street. Oh, Sing Street. Yeah, it's in, it's limited release right now. It's from uh, John Carney, the guy who did Once and uh, Begin Again, oh, and really? it's about this uh, this fifteen year old kid in Ireland. Wants to impress a girl, you know, blah blah blah. It goes over the chest. Yeah, she did. Girl is completely unimpressed. Okay. Yeah. Boy starts a band, and his oh. older brother introduces them to all the '80s music because it's set in the '80s. So he introduces them like Duran Duran, The Cure. Oh, cool. um, U two is not mentioned because you know they're in Ireland. And everybody felt you know you can't do U two oh. because everybody was doing U two. <laughs> but yeah, and you just see. 
the kids as they write the music and progress through all the things that you know influence the writing. And like this, it was amazing. It's probably my favorite film of the year. Uh, it was gorgeous. I walked, and it's May yeah. the third or whatever. And I walked out. I walked out of the theater, and I would, as I was walking out, I downloaded the soundtrack because there's got like classic '80s tunes, but also songs that were written by the kids in the movie. And they all just, it all sounds perfectly 80s. I'm like, yeah. this is amazing. Oh, so, cool. Yeah, it's so much fun. Love that. Mm. True. That's on the list then. Mm -hmm. Put it right <laughs> at the top. <laughs> it's not having a 30 year anniversary. No. <laughs> but I need to see that one again because it was that good. So I saw on your guys' website that you uh, okay. do set visits as well as you Yeah, what happened? I'm surprised, well, don't look at me. I'm surprised <laughs> that you guys didn't ask for a we set did. visit. To whom? I think I emailed. Like, as soon as, as, soon as the season was getting underway, I uh, reached out to a uh, couple of our contacts at Space, but I never heard anything back. Oh, Mario didn't get back to you? Mario! Yeah, see, I didn't even get Mario in the loop, because oh. I, I hadn't met Mario yet. I was, he's I like, yeah, he's a PR stuff, guy. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even know you guys had set visits, oh, yeah. and I'm surprised. Our set is a really fun one to visit. Oh, it's amazing. Right. There's a lot going on, and I we just built We'll have to do that for the inevitable season three, then. Well, it's going to be a few days left. Yeah, you do have a few days left. Like that'll happen now. <laughs> Final episode of the season shooting, they won't let anybody else. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Oh, that's so that too. <laughs> Oh no, I was just surprised Like when I when I was looking it up because I was trying to find information to let Mel know what the Mind Reels was all about. And then when I was on your website, I saw that bit about set visits and I didn't mm -hmm. know that you guys did those things. Oh, we love them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I definitely don't get enough of them right now. No. Like, we're just yeah. so busy. In fact, someone was telling me um, there was a man that won a competition. I don't know if you were on set and he I was on set yesterday. Yeah, he was. The day before. It was like a featured background performer. Oh, was that really? what he won? But he was going, yeah, one of the yeah. drivers, Jimmy. My driver was just telling me all about it. He was a, a British guy that flew over and yeah. got to meet everyone. But half of us weren't in, though. That's why I was quite surprised. I know. Well, I mean, I think I think Alex might have been in. Yeah. It would have been nice to have met them. He was so happy to have won this competition around all the set. Right? Well, who doesn't want to work on the, yeah. across the ship, right? Everybody wants to be on the ship set. So. It's, it's really impressive what our designer has done, Ian Brock. Like, it's crazy. They built another... Um, Another new set for something that <laughs> we will discuss. <laughs> <laughs> we, we shan't discuss at length. But I was just—I yeah, actually teared up a little bit. I was so excited to see it. It was uh, shocking. I, I just—and wow. you—you you actually won't see it until the end of the episode. And it's actually if we go how we'll go for another uh, season, it'll be featured more in the next season. But I was just mm. like, this is this is amazing. I hope we get to play on it a great deal. And the detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's what I like. I mean, even you just pick things up, and it's like, wow, you really didn't have to go to that much detail. There are yeah. things in yeah. the tins, and it's just incredible. Yeah. yeah, I love the fact that there might be tons of things that viewers will never see. Yeah, but they're there anyway. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I picked up a protein bar. I <laughs> They were like things painted with a new cover on, like real food. And Anthony, of course, started eating. Yep. Them in the scene. I was like, they look like that's edible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally edible. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. It's like a fruit stick in there, like a dried fruit really? thing in there. Was it was an E-bar. Yeah. It's an E-bar. It's like a big old sour bar. But they look like space food, like they look like beef jerky. Mel's, Mel's uh, the episode that goes through Nix's, her character's background, um, that ship design was really Oh, it's amazing. Really, really, really cool. cool. And we can talk a little bit about that because people have said, we've said different things. Episode two oh six yeah. is when you find out about Nix's um, background, her yeah. backstory, right. yeah. and um, and where I came from. To, uh, the, the sets that were created were just incredible. Made complete sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, oh, okay. Now okay. so, I mean, yeah, like, get me. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Kind of like that being thrown in with these amazing guys. I was like, oh my god. One, uh, uh, it was kind of. A mixture of daunting and excitement because everyone knows their character and what they're doing. They did mm -hmm. such a good job in the first season, so I was like, oh my god! And they were so, so nice. And, um, well, and talking about the first season, did you had you watched the show before you were cast, or did you do a crash course as soon as you got the part? Oh, no, I I mean, I hadn't seen the show before I was cast, but even from the audition process, when you get the sides through, I, you kind of do a little bit of research. <laughs> and then I'd seen bits on YouTube and snips of Melissa and Roger and um, but yeah, before I got the job, obviously I watched the whole season, yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> which was really fun. Right. Well, they didn't remember who they were when they first woke up in the beginning. Yeah. Of the first season, so you couldn't know yourself in that point. Yeah. yeah. Well, these guys were saying that they were learning. Well, except maybe Roger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. 
<laughs> what was that like, though, for you? Because I realize as I'm going, as I'm thinking about it, that it was one thing for us to be getting the scripts, mm -hmm. uh, script at a time, and not knowing who, what mm -hmm. our background was. But yours, like you're supposed to, you have all of your <laughs> you're memories. You're supposed to know. Yeah, you're supposed uh -huh. to know, but you're still getting the scripts one by one. Well, this we are. is the thing. So I was, because I, I said to Joe, I was trying to get more information out of him as much as I could, and he'd be like, oh, you'll be fine, you just go with it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't worry too much. So I'd be like, you don't understand, I don't know who I am. <laughs> yeah. I could start the note. So I'd actually just, I'd write, I'd go back on my notes, and I've got these notepads of when, when I get a job, and I just write, I just made it all up. Wow. I like made up, I had a, which was really bizarre, because there were things that I made up that completely weren't anything like storyline, yeah. and then there were others that were, like, yeah. Oh. But I, I need to say something, but I won't. I know, I know. I don't want to give any spoilers. So, um, but some, yeah, I was like, ooh. Oh, that's really cool. So that's when actually, we're watching yeah. it, we can watch for clues as we go along. Yeah. So we can figure you out a little bit. Which is really, but also for me, it was a great, because I'm used to kind of being in control of that way and, and learning, you know, your backstories, you like to know, oh, you can delve into this and that. But not knowing it actually can free you up in a way as well, once mm -hmm. you kind of let go and think, Okay, just go along with it. Trust the writing on the page, and, and then it all comes. Oh, I'm just going to say, well, that, that probably sounds exactly what Sophie, I'm going to slaughter your last name, Sophie, but Sophie Bessery? 